Here we are for episode three of the Lions Play Anywhere. I think you're starting to get the structure now. So now it's about getting straight into the activities that we want you to focus on over the next few days. As per normal, we start off with a warm up. But it's about again, being creative. Look at Sammy doing some different things this time. Starting to focus on some turns, looking to turn using the outside of the foot, using the inside of the foot, behind the leg. These are the sorts of things you wanna keep doing, keep developing within the first five minutes of the session. Right? First touch. In this example, we're looking at controlling the ball and then having a little bit of a turn. So we're starting to create an awareness. Side on, notice how Jules gets side on so that she can receive the ball side on with the inside of the foot, allows her then to move in a different direction. Always left and right. So we continue to develop our first touch. Okay, to progress, progress this one, we start to look, can we do it the outside of the foot? And it's fair to say, Jules can do it with the outside of the foot if we just saw that one. Left and right, nice little touch. Notice the weight. The weight of the touch keeps the ball under control. That's what the first touch is about. It's about working on the weight so you're always in control of the ball. Right and left foot, start to use the outside. Great work. The second activity, running with the ball. So what we want to do, oh, hang on a minute, Sammy. We're not quite set up, ah, forgot something. We need four cones, we don't have cones. We've got a shoe, we've got a bib, we've got Messi, and we've got Bawa. Can't forget Bawa. <laughs> now we're good. In this activity, it's about dribbling into the middle and then to the outside. Using left and right foot, so we're changing direction. Good recovery, Sammy. <laughs> left and right, using both feet, getting around, but always going back to the middle. Lots of touches and mix it up. Don't have to go in one direction, mix it up. In fact, here's a great idea. Parents, you can dictate where they go. Gives you a bit of fun to have with your own child. Let me give you an example. All right, Sammy, start from the middle. Shoe. Bib. Shoe. Bow wow. Great work. So on that one, what you're working is, you're actually working on reaction time as well because it's not controlled. As a parent, you're just doing it randomly. The player has to react. Great little drill. Activity three, striking the ball. So in this one, we're trying to advance it a bit more again to see if we can strike the ball, but we're actually looking to try and get it off the ground. So technique's important. Right? So we're gonna see a Jules around her striking the ball, looking to get it off the ground. Go Jules, show us. Oh, hang on, hang on, so, sorry, sorry. I think we're gonna to need to bring a special cameo appearance on this one to make sure we get it right. Jules, sorry. Shift go. Look who we've got. One of the greats, Zhivko Kaleski. Special appearance to show us how it's done. Let's go, Zhiv. Control. Oh, Zhivko. So notice, good technique. It's just about left and right again. Getting the ball underneath and chipping the ball up. So again, when we're looking at the technique, it's about where you make contact with the ball. In the previous episodes, everything was about hitting the middle of the ball. In this one, when we got Jif go, as you could see, come in Jif. When he looks to strike the ball, you can see he's getting his foot nice and underneath the ball. Before, it was striking on the middle of the ball. Now, we're looking to get underneath the ball to get the ball up in the air. Fourth component, 1v1. This time, we're doing the step over. So as we can see, Sammy, as he approaches the defender, he looks to step over the ball, then take it the other direction. 
Steps over, takes it the other direction. Over. <laughs> Start again. No, we keep that. <laughs> See, even the best mess it up at times. But it's not about messing it up. It's about how quickly you recover and you go again. So let's break this down by going slowly and getting a close up. As you can see, Sammy goes over and around the ball with the other foot and then takes it the other direction. Let's just do that once more, Sam. Nice and slowly so we get the technique. Around the front, leans one side, takes it to the outside, step over, other direction. A great little trick, very effective in getting past defenders. Give it a try. That brings us to the end of episode three. But remember, what we always finish with, a little bit of juggling. Right, continue to do it, continue to do it. We've shown you different ways, bouncing straight off the foot. We've got the off the ground, off the ground. Right, keep trying them, keep work on them. Let us know how you're going and how many you've been able to do as you progressed with the activities. Till episode four, enjoy.